Hi, I'm Lance Lambert. Thanks for tuning in to the Vintage Vehicle Show. We are in Tustin, California at the Marconi Automotive Museum. This is one of the most supreme, superb, and fantastic museums in the entire world. There is a collection of kind of a real cross-section, but it leans a lot towards racing cars. Dick Marconi is responsible for this. Come on in here, Dick. How are you? Wonderful, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for having us in your collection today. This is just gorgeous, what a, what a layout. It's our pleasure, thank you for being here. How did this all come about? Well, um, I used to have a race shop when Johnny and I were racing full time. Um, he was a um, um, champ in the uh, Indy Lights. He was a champ in the uh, Formula Fords and... Um, this is your son, Johnny? Yeah, my son, John. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we need the, my, my vitamin business was growing so fast, uh, they threw us out of a uh, factory. Mm -hmm. We had 5,000 feet in the back of the factory, so we had to look around. And we started looking around and we found this old salad oil manufacturing plant. That's how it pretty much got started, racing and storage for some of our cars. This place is beyond clean. It is absolutely spotless. I, I should have little footies over my shoes or something <laughs> here. Well, the collection you have is breathtaking, and right here we have an absolutely gorgeous Gullwing Mercedes-Benz. How did this come into your collection? Well, it was donated by a good friend of ours who taught us, me particularly, and my wife, Bo, and uh, Johnny, um, how, to, how to drive faster. Uh, Russell Spence, he donated the car to us, and it's completely restored. And this back in the, in the 50s or 60s, when it came out, it sold for $11,000. And I'll tell you, I said it, why would you pay 11,000? Why would anybody pay 11,000 for a car like this? You know, the doors open up yeah, like I this. Can't the goal, yeah. yeah, you can't get in. The windows go down a little. There was no air conditioning on it at the time. The value on it is $300,000 now, so. I was really wrong, but I didn't know anything about that yet. 